said, I think, in my presentation, um, you know, I even spoke with human rights defenders in Tashkent who were not in Antijan, did not witness this. The, the bottom line is that uh, the government's response was excessive, disproportionate. Uh, it showed up a willingness to use violence to suppress the expression of the largely peaceful expression of, of opinions that day in Antijan. And, and I'm not surprised, not in the, in the slightest, unfortunate by those comments, because the Uzbek government for the last 10 years has, has really conducted a concerted campaign to really repaint, rewrite, we say bury the truth of the Anijan massacre. In fact, just two months ago, a blockbuster film was released by the Uzbek government called Subkim, which appropriately means, or translates to traitor. And the entire film lays responsibility on the Anijan massacre for foreign financed Islamic extremists, and there's also some references to Western governments being the highest in defense. And that's been a 10 year campaign, so I'm, I'm not surprised at all that you know, certain figures uh, are saying these things. And in today's environment, if you do say those things, and you want to continue your same career, it's very dangerous, I think, to take open opposition to the government. So, you know, but there are others that are speaking out, and I think those voices are, and there's great debate about what she said as well. I think 50% of the people online have been disagreeing with her, and I think that gives a lot of hope. Thanks. Um, if I can add also, you know, the as you probably know very well, there are lots of difficulties between Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Um, Tajikistan is denied certain kinds of transit routes because the Uzbek government doesn't allow its territory to be used. Um, and uh, also, to be fair to uh, the Uzbek side, there's an Uzbek minority in northern Tajikistan, which also has a lot of problems using the Tajik government. Um, there's one journalist there, for example, who used to work with the BBC, who, whom the Tajik government accused of being a member of Hitler Tahrir, merely because he interviewed people from Hitler Tahrir, and now, in effect, he's denied the possibility of working.